Hi everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers again. And I've just info been informed by my camera that my data may not have been recorded correctly. I'm gonna sort of try this again. Trying to work in the greenhouse a bit today. Trying to get a few things organized and updated. Look, a little bit of bone meal in there. And after I'm planted, we'll hit it with a little bit of fish juice. Also gonna add in some potting soil. Just to sort of refresh it a little bit. I always like to top up my buckets when I'm planting into them again. I'm going to grab a secondary bucket here so I can take some of this dirt out. Because I want to have enough room to get the <laughs> pot in there. And I want to plant it down a bit. That's one of the lovely things about um, tomatoes is you can plant them down and they'll grow more roots along the stem. And that actually helps them improve their root systems, especially if they've been messed up like these have been because they've been in little bitty pots for too long. We never plan to leave these here. We actually plan to add these to the hydroponic system, but it was one thing after another and we gave up on that sort of process. So now we're sort of revamping again. Okay, first things first. I'm just gonna take all these little, anything that won't break off easily, I'll cut off. Most of this actually breaks off. There's a few particularly stiff ones that don't wanna come off. Taking off everything at the bottom of the plant here. This is actually two plants in here. Didn't realize that at first, but that's okay. I know everything's got late blight in here, early blight, whatever the heck it is. Anyway, blight, but I'm just not gonna worry about it. The plants are still producing. That's what they're here for. <laughs> These have monster roots sticking out the bottom and I expect a lot of the roots to get ripped off, but not all of it, so. That's how they've managed to stay alive. I kept putting <laughs> fertilizer in the water and they just kept growing. So they deserve a 20 second try. Okay. <laughs> Jack doesn't like me making noise. <laughs> That's okay. You did, I didn't care for you making noise when you were chasing that lizard either, Jack. <laughs> uh, okay going to temporarily stick this in here, but I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is actually running these up to the ceiling. I wanna support this guy because it's kind of little. I'm gonna use a clip that I would normally use for the hydroponics, but you can use them just as a physical clip too. Uh, let's see, right there put it above a branch so that it the branch holds it up there we go that's better than nothing I just don't want this is such a heavy fruit <coughs> I don't want it to break the plant ah. poor little guy there we go that's really crazy crazy it's gonna be too tall really quickly if I leave it on this bench but I'm gonna leave it on the bench for now 
suspect these are granaderos. They're not properly labeled. We didn't have any labels at the time. We just sort of stuffed them into containers. Not sure. Oh, I know what you are. You're uh, Gardener's Delight. Hmm. Okay. I dare say I don't think I've ever, ever had, had quite this much of a mess in a pile of seedlings before. But this seemed like as good a time as any to sort it out. You have to sort it out eventually. I'm seeing lots and lots of fruit down here. That actually looks like it might, even though it says it's Granadero. Yeah, that says it's Granadero. All right, we're going to make believe it is Granadero. The nice thing about having it set up like this is I can decide that I'm just going to let this be and get it wet and everything else and not have to worry about it. For anybody who's not tuned in to us on a regular basis, our water system is down sort of right now, not completely, because we're in the process of rebuilding our solar. So we have some power. I've got a generator running out there, and it's a little bitty guy, so it can run literally all day without using much gasoline, which is awesome. But anytime we need electricity right now, we have to run the generator. I want to get some water into that pot that I just planted. The plants had been soaked well beforehand, but that dry soil is going to suck the juice out of them pretty quickly. So what I'll do is I'll water it, let it soak in, and keep doing that multiple times. All right, time for another pot. I know I'm not going to transplant all of this. I need to see who's got some fruit back there. Looks like I might actually have a red pear in there too. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Just found something yucky outside, so I'll take you guys out to share. Because <laughs> it's important to share yucky. <laughs> Woo, flying through the air with the greatest of ease. The daring young man hid his red BBDs. Okay, so I moved a bucket, and this is what I found. Now, you may recognize these little evil beasts here as grubs. These are June bug grubs, and we're going to be removing their existence because they're nasty. They will get into your plants, your dirt, your everything, and completely eat the roots off your plants. So if I had chickens, I would have given them to the chickens. But since I don't, we'll just mush them. Let's see if there's anybody living under here. Nope, just a silly beetle. Hi, silly beetle. You get to live another day because you're not a bad thing. Okay. And under here, under one of these, I suspect there was a small snake but he can stay there because I don't need a bucket right now. <laughs> These are our um, Amanda orange tomatoes, which were banished from the greenhouse because they were really, really coated with blight, trimmed all the, practically everything. I mean, left like a couple of sticks worth of uh, leaves on them. Um, they've been mashed a couple of times. We had this one here, it's broken partially because of a windstorm. 